What's going on you guys? It's your boy Joe, man. Welcome back to another video, guys. It's been a minute, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel, guys. Today we're going to be playing Minecraft Hardcore on an island, dude. On a freaking island. No freaking little Minecraft survival world, dude. We are taking a challenge. We are going to be heading on an island, seeing what we can do. As you guys can see, it looks really, really cool. Our beautiful island. I'm so proud of it. Um, you know, this episode, we actually got a lot done, man. I was actually really surprised, you know. Uh, it actually went really, really well. I was pretty surprised, to be completely honest with you guys. So, basically, in this episode, what we went ahead and do, guys, is all we did, really, is we went ahead and focused on getting our, ma our materials, right? Uh, since we're on an island, my main concern was really my food source. I didn't really know what I was going to do for a food source because we're on an island, you know. I have a few other islands that I can see up ahead in the distance. So what I do is I actually go ahead and I dig down because I need some cobblestone. And I figured out that there's just a cave under me. So I don't even need to really mine. So that's even better for me. You can see we're in the mine now, basically getting the coal. We're out here working, man. We're, we're working a miner's life. What can I tell you guys? So basically, guys, this was really, really fun. If you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure to give it a like, man. Come on, guys. I know it's been a while since I, I, I've been here. I do apologize for that. I went ahead and took a break. I was extremely busy with a lot of finance stuff and things like that. You know, I have a lot of side things I do, so I do apologize sometimes if I, if I just take some breaks. And you know what? It kind of feels good. I'm not going to lie. It gets me motivated again, and it makes me want to do things. Um, also, what I'm going to be doing, guys, is throughout the week i'm gonna do my best to record every day throughout the week on the weekends i'm gonna take a break the weekends is gonna be the break time okay guys but besides that every day on the week i'm gonna go ahead and see if i could record a video anytime i can for you guys and yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video man i had a lot of fun recording it guys we actually got really really settled man as you can see we're grabbing a decent amount of wood we only had two trees, so that was a little bit of a concern for me. So I had to make sure that we are going to keep collecting the saplings. What I do like about being on an island is there's a lot of open space, right, um, to work with, you know. Um, I know it is water, so it's a little hard to build on water, of course. But, you know, we could build something really, really cool with this, guys, if we really wanted to. We could do something absolutely extraordinary. So, man, this was so fun. You know, I thought I would do something different than just a uh, basic survival island uh, world you know what i mean it's just i want to do an island i want more of a challenge and we're gonna see how long we can survive through this so right now we're just checking out the other islands man there's nothing much on this island i think this is on the west west side i'm not sure uh whatever side it is but there's not really much on that island it's just pretty much sand and that's pretty much it so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the other island see what they have going on on that island because the other island looked a lot better so it's definitely something that i wanted to go ahead and take a look at main problem here again guys is the food right like what am i gonna do for food i know i could do some fishing i don't have any strings i need to kill spiders okay so i kind of resorted to heading over to the other island seeing what these islands are going to provide for me do they have any food do they have any supplies i can use is there a cave i can use so Right away, we found cows, which was an absolute lifesaver, man. If I wouldn't have found those cows, I think I would have died, to be completely honest with you guys, just of starvation alone. So, thank God I found the cows. I'm super hyped about that, man. Immediately, immediately, guys, I went right, right to building a fence. I need to get a farm going immediately. I, there's no messing around here. We need a farm, okay? Now, in hardcore, the main things I have the most issues with is getting food. That is what kills me every freaking time. Well... A mob kills me every time. But you guys know what I mean, man. I have a lot of difficult with food. It's killing me. It kills me every time. I'm over here always trying to hunt food, and it's stupid. So I got to make a freaking farm, you know, because what am I going to do? Run around all the time? And no, we're not doing that again. And that is not happening again. So immediately, I went to building food because... In my hardcore experience, food runs out like it's water, man. It is unbelievable. You can eat 20 pounds of steaks in a day. And somehow your guy is still hungry. Like, it just doesn't even make sense. So, immediately, I went straight to resorting to building a farm. Because we need wheat to breed the cows. Guys, I had a lot of fun doing this. If you guys enjoyed the episode, man, come on. Give it a like, guys. We are almost at 400 subscribers. Don't even tell me anything different. Don't even... Come on. We're at 400 subs. That's all I got to tell you guys. Like, we're literally almost there, guys. You guys are absolutely ridiculous. I can't thank you guys enough for that, man. Keep up the work, guys. We're going to hit 1,000 in absolutely no time, guys. You guys are monsters. It, it's just unbelievable, man. Like, I... I, I, I don't even know what to say. Anyways, 
Let's go ahead, man. We went ahead and killed a pig. We got ourselves a bit of, of uh, steaks, which we'll go ahead and take because we do need steaks. We really do need food. Again, that was my main thing I really wanted to focus on in this episode was really making sure I have a really good sustainable food source. Mostly cows because then I can get leather. And then also I have a sugarcane farm going. So I'm not too worried about that. Pretty excited about that, actually. You know, so actually this first episode went really well, you know. We didn't trap any cows this episode, but you know what I mean? At least we got the fenced in area going. We got our farm going. Um, all we need is to really get ourselves the wheat. The reason why I wasn't able to control the cows, you can see right now we're very low on food. I'm like, freak this. I'm heading right back to the island. So we went ahead and head back to our island. We're going to get go ahead and cook up the food. Also, we have two doggies with us on the island. How perfect is that? I can get some bones and there you go. Oh. I think we lost one, but actually we have one dog. So that's perfect. We had two at the beginning. I don't know where the other one went. I think he vanished somewhere, but at least one of our dogs stayed with us. That's awesome. We can name him Jimmy or something. That's what I'm going to name him. But yeah, man, this was, this was a beautiful island. Look at the beautiful sky. It's so calm. No mobs. Nobody's bothering me. I'm fine. So that's why I really like doing the island, man. So next up, we're going to head up in the cave, right? We're going to have to head up in the cave. We're going to get the mine shaft going because I need a mine shaft. I need to get iron. I need to get diamonds. You know how we roll. We get diamonds in the first two episodes because, you know, we don't mess around, man. Come on. So basically, guys, we are doing a absolutely insane mine shaft here or mine shaft. What am I saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, freaking mine shaft. We're, bi we're building a mine shaft to get ourselves going with this freaking mining we need it all right without it you ain't got nothing so we're gonna go ahead and create that now i think i saw on the other island also with the food i think there was if i'm correct i think there was um another cave that in the future we will go ahead and take a look at okay guys um now i'm i was really excited building this mine shaft because you know we were on an island I was like, I wonder what's under here. You know what I mean? Like, you're you're just on a sole piece of, of land, you know? That, that's, like, that's pretty much it. You're, you know what I mean? So, when we got to the bottom, we actually went ahead and found a cave. I was so freaking stoked about this, man. We found a good cave, man. My picks, my pickaxe broke, of course. But, hey, you know, we found a mine shaft. A freaking mine shaft, man. In our first episode. All, the, all we did was fucking... Or, all we did was dig down, man. That's it. So I did realize once I was down in there, um, once I was down in there, I realized that I didn't have any wood. I needed to craft myself a pickaxe and their string, which we could use for a fishing rod, man. Like, come on. Why would I not grab that? All I need is three strings and I have myself a fishing rod. I can fish all day, collect food all day. I can collect anything I want. So I went ahead, I used the wood, I used the material I could in the mine shaft. Thank, thank God there was honestly wood in there because if there wasn't wood in there, I would have probably been screwed. I would have had to run all the way back up. I would have had to get that and all this baloney balonies that I didn't want to do. We also found some redstone, which I couldn't even mine because I don't have the iron yet. So we're collecting a few strings again for the sh fishing rods. And I'm happy at least that we have ourselves a mine shaft now that we can actually at least resort to um, getting, right? Because the main thing I was... Okay, when I first started the, the episode, I was like, okay, what are the main things I'm really going to need to survive, man? Because this isn't like a open world survival where you can run wherever you want, get whatever food you want, find whatever animal you want. You're kind of basically stranded on these islands, you know what I mean? And you have a few things to work with. So the first thing I got was a boat. I had to get a boat, you know what I mean? What, like, what am I going to do without a boat? Nothing. So I had to get a boat and I'm excited to explore the uh ocean i'm excited to go swimming explore it maybe find abandoned things in the ocean like i'm super excited about that when we head back to this island too there is so much mobs we actually end up getting a carrot man which was absolutely i i don't even know how i got it i i think it's just by killing a zombie he dropped me a carrot and i was so happy and i'm gonna get destroyed by these mobs man i was a little worried about that i'm not gonna lie because there's a f quite a bit of mobs on this island compared to my island so I was kind of getting myself into something that I really wasn't ready for, to be completely honest. You can see there's a lot, a lot of mobs. I was a little worried at this point. You can see I kind of book it. A little worried, you know? Uh, definitely not what I was expecting. But I don't want to die, man. I'm not dying the first episode. No, that is not happening. We are not dying the first episode. Are you kidding me? 
That would destroy me. That is not happening. We are going to have an amazing hardcore experience this time, guys. We are not going to die. We are not going to... We are going to build everything we want to freaking build. And we're going to get it done. And that's it. That's all. We're not going to mess around this time. We're not going to die. Freaking zombies, man. They're pissing me off. They, they're everywhere. Everywhere on this island. There's zombies. There's skeletons. It's unbelievable. I always forget, too, that my gamma is completely up. I always tend to forget that, which makes no sense. As you can see right now, I'm getting... Uh, like i'm panicking a little bit you know what i mean i'm definitely pan look there's the carrot see this okay we did get a carrot from the zombie which is great i'll take that any day i'll take a carrot friggin right there's an addition to the farm now we have some actual additional food that we can use also we find these sheeps which i was really really happy about because then we can make ourselves a bed and finally i need myself a freaking bed man how am i gonna survive how am i gonna how am i gonna sleep through the night man without a bed it's not gonna happen so we need a bed Man, we got ourselves pretty situated this episode. We we have enough wool. The only thing I really need to focus more on, really necessarily, is trees. We need to get a tree farm going because I don't have enough trees. That's the main issue. We need to get trees. Once we have the trees, we'll have unlimited trees. We'll be set to freaking go. And that's how it works. So, once we have our trees, we'll be good. We'll mine all those. Now, we're back to the island. Uh, I went ahead and mined all that iron in the mine shaft that we went ahead and collected i'm just gonna make myself a little piece of armor a little bit of uh tools you know an iron tool as you can see we got three samplings going also which is great i'm really excited for my little trees to grow i need them to grow as fast as they possibly can grow because without that i'm screwed i need them so at least we got some food we got some good food going for us at least which was really really nice i'm really stoked about that guys this episode went really really well guys i'm really really enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed the episode too man i had a lot of fun doing it if you guys enjoyed it give it a like and subscribe guys we're gonna kill it man this is gonna be so fun we're gonna build so much things on this island it's honestly gonna be unbelievable guys there's gonna be buildings everywhere there's gonna be a bunch of things built trees everywhere it's, it's not even gonna look the same when we're done you guys